Before I hand this cohort to a bioinformatician, I would like to further refine it by adding a couple additional criteria. To add additional criteria, I can select this Add Filter button. When I click the button, the field explorer opens and I can quickly filter down to the field on which I want to add a criteria. I select it and then I select the Add as Filter button. When I click the Add as Filter button, I see a modal for this field with an ability to start defining the criteria. For this filter, we actually want to exclude individuals that answer non-specifically. I will select the Is any of criteria, and when I click it, I can see a dropdown of all of the additional criteria available to me. In this case, I would like to select the Is not any of. Now I can start adding the values. To add a value, I can click in the field, and I see a dropdown of all of the options. I simply scroll down to the option I want, and I select it. Alternatively, I can begin typing my value, and then select it from the dropdown. For certain fields, I also have the option to exclude missing data. For this criteria, since we are trying to clean up the data set to have individuals that answer specifically, I will select the box, and then now I am ready to apply the filter by simply clicking the button. Here, we can see that my dashboard has updated, my cohort has narrowed even further, and my criteria has been added. Additionally, for the tile, I can see that the filter icon now indicates that a cohort filter has been created. Alternatively, I can create a filter clicking the cohort filter icon on a tile. For this filter, we want to exclude individuals that have a non-answer in the heart rate. If we view the heart rate as a histogram, we can see that we have a large spike around zero. And so what we want is individuals that have had at least one value recorded on the labs with a heart rate that's not zero. These individuals may have other values that are zero, but we are just want to make sure that they have at least one valid value. To add that filter, we will hover over the create filter icon, we'll click it, and then here we'll click the add cohort filter button. This brings up the modal again for defining the filter. Instead of is between, we'll click the is between operator and scroll down to the is greater than. Now we'll type in our value is greater than 50 to make sure that the individual has at least one lab entry that is above, that has a heart rate that is above 50, and we'll click apply filter. This will has further reduced the cohort down to just 44 individuals, thereby removing the individual that had just one value, and that value was an invalid value on the heart rate table. I still see values on the heart rate for those invalid because these 44 individuals may have entries that are invalid, but they also have entries on the lab that do meet this criteria. Now I am ready to save the cohort. To save the cohort, I'll go ahead and click the Save Cohort button, and here I will update the name, and then I'll sit select the save location, in this case under a specific user folder. Now that I've specified the target and the name, I can click the save button and we'll see that I now saved the cohort. To share my recently saved cohort, I navigate back to my project, I navigate to the location where I saved the cohort, and then here I can see the newly saved cohort. I select it and then I can quickly copy the ID so that I can either enter it into analysis tools or share it for further analysis.